All right, you guys, my hair looks completely ridiculous. And yes, it's 110 degrees outside and I'm wearing a sweatshirt because Phil thinks if it's not snowing in the house, it's not cold enough. We are going to get groceries, but I have a t-shirt on underneath of here because you never really know if it's going to be like super cold in the grocery store or if it's going to be 115 degrees. I mean, there's just no way of knowing. And I am a little bit tired, a little bit. That's a UPS guy needing to stock the house and leave me anything. I'm a little bit worn out, so I'm going to run up to um, Burger King and get one of their lemonades. I love their lemonade. Do that way. Hope you're not looking at too many bug guts because we went on a trip this like two weeks ago and I haven't it's been raining so much I haven't had a chance to wash the car and I swear my car is covered in yeah see you're just gonna slide all over the place it'll be interesting to see what this video looks like because you are really just sliding all over the place all right we're gonna take you down this is my iced tea this will last me until I go to bed tonight. Like I said, perfect blend of sweetness and tartness. It's a really, really, really good. And I'm going to flip you guys around and see if I can like brace you in the corner so you can see where we're driving and we're going to go get groceries. Welcome back today I have another grocery haul for you we just came back from fairway where we spent hundred and eighteen dollars in change and we got groceries for the rest of this week so starting out with a case of diet coke we had no intention of getting a case of diet coke um, Phil's the only one that drinks it I'll drink it once in a while but mostly he drinks it and he's trying to cut down so he only put two six packs or a 12 pack in the cart and then we got to the checkout and the girl's like, you know, if you buy four, they're like half price. So we went back and got two more, but he's cutting back. So these will probably last a while. I got a jar of paste, chunky salsa, and I'm going through the other stuff too quickly. And it's a little bit expensive. And really what I like most about it is the pineapples in it. So I just bought a jar of pineapple, like the chunk pineapple. I'm going to mix these together and see if that works. I got some more raspberry iced tea. Two containers of Bloody Mary mix, a gallon of milk, some deodorant, some shampoo, two packages of toilet paper. I got a box of small garbage bags for like the bathroom garbages and the office garbage, that kind of thing. And then I got a small box of, there's only 13 or 15 in here, of the 13 gallon container to, uh, bags to put in the office for when the shredder gets full. So I'm going to put that in the office. Got another loaf of bread. We already have one loaf of bread that's not opened yet, but we're just getting to it. And this will, one loaf wouldn't get through the week. So we got another loaf. Got some mozzarella cheese, penne pasta, um, five pounds of gold potatoes, the, like the Yukon Golds, those are my favorite. Let me move you guys a little closer. You can see the rest of the stuff's kind of hidden over here. And we got some tostado chips. You know how I am about my tostado chips. And Texas toast, some apple danish, a package of diced ham, a package of hot dogs, a pound and a half of stew meat. I'm going to put stew in the crock pot this week, I think. So we have two containers of pearl onions, two containers of carrots, two peas, two corns, three of the potatoes, um, green beans, some beef consomme, and beef broth. 
and a small tomato sauce. And then we also have some Hunt's tomato paste and Hormel no bean chili. The crushed pineapple to add with the salsa and some Bob Evans potatoes. So that should get us through the bulk of the week. We still have quite a bit of like cereal left over for breakfast and then I did get the apple danish. Um, we still have quite a bit of lunch meat left over for, for lunches. So really we just needed some dinner things and then some things for the bathrooms and just things to get us through the rest of the week. So this is our grocery haul for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk soon.